dollar. Now you can take those items and if you have the permission to sell that item on Amazon, you can retail arbitrage that by buying the thing at Walmart for a dollar and then sending it to Amazon's warehouse and hopefully still getting that $20 that you sold it on Amazon. What is Amazon FBA? Well, Amazon FBA is a program that allows individuals like yourself or businesses to sell products to Amazon's customers, people who go to amazon.com to buy things. You can participate in that marketplace and sell anything you want, essentially. I mean, there are some restrictions, but you can sell used books, used items like books. You can sell food, grocery items that are not requiring refrigeration. You can sell vitamin. You can sell products that you make, you manufacture yourself. You can sell products that you have a manufacturer make. And you can even sell products that you might buy wholesale. So there's a bunch of different business models to sell on Amazon FBA. So you may have watched some videos about Amazon FBA and let's just get into these business models. Number one way that a lot of sellers start that have a little less money, a little less capital is they will buy used books or they'll, they'll take used books out of their home and they'll sell them on Amazon FBA. Yeah, you can do that. You can sell used items like books not everything you use, not, you know, not food that you've eaten and then try to resell, but books particularly are sold as used on Amazon and you can participate in that. And oftentimes it doesn't cost that much to get inventory to do the book flipping business, let's say. And some sellers have scaled that business to multiple millions of dollars of revenue per year flipping books. How do they get those books? Well, they'll go to library sales, they'll go to thrift shops and places where they sell used books for as little as a dollar or 50 cents or 25 cents. They go to garage sales. Essentially, if you learn that business, you can take books that you might buy for a dollar and sell them for $20. And it does happen. Now, it is a grind and it is very, very manual work, but sellers often make it work and they figure out a way to make a business out of it. So there's that used book business and it's a great starting point for some sellers, again, who don't have the capital to get into some of the higher end ways of selling on Amazon. The second way that sellers or individuals tend to get into Amazon with low capital is what's called retail arbitrage and online arbitrage. And all that really means is you're buying something on at Walmart that might be on sale or you're going to walmart.com, some other website. You're buying it lower someplace and you're arbitraging what the price is on being sold on Amazon. Hopefully there's a big enough difference to cover the Amazon fees that Amazon's gonna charge you. They charge you on everything you sell on Amazon. Of course, that's how they make their money and that's why this program exists is uh, one of the reasons is Amazon's making a lot of money on it. So let's get back to the retail and online arbitrage. So let's say Walmart, a food item that normally sells for $20 on Amazon and they're closing it out at a dollar. Now you can take those items and if you have the permission to sell that item on Amazon, you can retail arbitrage that by buying the thing at Walmart for a dollar and then sending it to Amazon's warehouse and hopefully still getting that $20 that you sold it on Amazon.com. And that's the arbitrage, $19 of gross revenue arbitrage between the buy price at Walmart and your sell price on Amazon. So that's retail arbitrage. Online arbitrage is the same thing, but essentially you're going to walmart.com or some other website like nike.com or whatever. And what you're doing is you're looking to find an arbitrage, a difference in price between the two items and you're looking to flip the item. Now that used to be extremely popular quite a while ago. There are still a large group of sellers doing retail arbitrage. And if you see even a lot of the pro sellers, you'll see that a lot of them got their start doing retail arbitrage or flipping books. It's pretty interesting. Then they moved into online arbitrage and then they moved into what's called private label. And we're going to get to that. But the next step that oftentimes sellers get into when they get a few thousand dollars in capital is they get into wholesale and wholesale is you're getting product directly from a company, an established brand, 
or you're buying from a distributor that may have several established brands in stock and you're arbitraging the price that you're buying it at wholesale and the price that you could sell it for for Amazon. Now there's a lot of analytics you need to do to make sure that you are buying a product that's going to sell frequently and that you're measuring and making sure your net profit, not your gross profit, your net profit, which is your cost of goods and all the Amazon fees and if you have employees and rent, all that stuff, if your net profit on that item exceeds zero, then you have a winner, right? And hopefully it exceeds zero by a lot more than a few pennies, right? So that is wholesale arbitrage. You're finding local distributors or nationwide distributors, or perhaps you have a corporation in your town that has branded items that they're not currently selling on Amazon. You contact them and you get a deal to buy a thousand units to get shipped to your home or to your warehouse. You send those off to Amazon and you can scale that. So you can scale a wholesale business to exceed over a hundred million dollars a year in revenue. There are sellers that are doing that, doing Amazon wholesale, okay? There is the next business model after the retail arbitrage, after the online arbitrage. The next model up essentially, especially in terms of capital needs for starting, would be wholesale. And you can quickly scale that because you're really doing a lot of the research up front and once you get the product and the deal and the supply, you're essentially just replenishing that supply on Amazon against uh, current and future demand. All right, so I can get into that as well in a separate episode if you think you wanna learn more about the wholesale business. Now, the next level of business which requires much more capital and actually entails much more risk is launching your own brand or your own product. So if, if you manufacture your product or you have a, a manufacturer in Mexico or China or in, even in the United States and you, what you need to do is you're gonna need to actually have your own brand name because private label means you're taking a good that somebody else makes and slapping your brand on it. And you often see that like store brands are private Private label like you can go to Walgreens or Target or Walmart and you know that they have generic with the name of the store on it and that's private label they have a contract manufacturer in India or China making that product for them and the manufacturer is just slapping the label on it so the brand is private label and Walmart Target they have trademarks for their brand okay and that's what you'll need to do so that's the reason why the costs are so high for getting into it the capital needed you need to pay for the product in large quantities because a manufacturer is not going to want to do a small run for you so you have that you have freight costs so you're going to need to do a large run so that the freight cost per unit is pretty low then you're going to need to apply for a trademark and that might be hiring a law firm to do it for you some sellers that don't do it on their own if you don't want to learn it you need to hire somebody to do that for you and then when you launch the product you are going to need to use it's called amazon ads to they call it oftentimes ppc to promote your product and you're going to need an entire budget for that but these are all the things you're going to need to launch on amazon.com as a private label seller it's, it can be overwhelming at first but wow it is a great experience if you can sit down and get knee deep into the research check out my channel on this topic because it is very rewarding if you dedicate yourself to learning how to sell private label products on Amazon how to become a product launch expert because there's so much opportunity some private label or branded items are selling over a hundred million dollars a month just that brand alone on Amazon some private label companies are selling ten million dollars a month or more on Amazon and they're doing fabulous all right but they're they're well-oiled machines they had to make all the mistakes to get to that point and you're gonna need to have the capital to make mistakes okay so that's why it's the next level up and then the the next next level which is similar to private label is helping existing brands to launch on Amazon so or if you already have a brand uh, and you're manufacturing it yourself it's essentially the same thing as private label except you probably already have your trademark and you can launch your products on Amazon there's a huge pool of buyers the biggest pool of buyers in the entire world essentially and you can launch your product there's a lot of 
work in that business of launching your branded products on Amazon. But that is also a really rewarding, uh, highly lucrative situation that you can get into by launching your own brand on Amazon. That is all amazing stuff. Now, if you find any of this interesting and you want me to get really deep in any of these things because I have experience throughout all of these items. I got started selling books a, a long time ago and then I did a little retail arbitrage. It, you know, it was a very temporary thing for me to learn how to sell on Amazon. Then some online arbitrage, then wholesale, and then private label, and then also helping other brands launch their own products on Amazon. So if you have any very specific questions about that or you want me to do a separate video for any of those things, leave a comment below, let me know, because these videos take quite a bit of time to research, you show some effort, and, and leave a comment below to let me know what you think, what you want me to include in the next Next episode. I am Matt. I am an Amazon seller. I am a product launch specialist and I have been selling on Amazon for quite a while. But the key to Amazon is continual learning, partnering up with other people to learn more. This channel is about teaching everything that I've learned from other sellers and in my own experience of selling on Amazon. And I hope I can help you along in your experience. So thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.